Hi there, these comments are for Bilal and I am Michael and boy you're coming down to the final stretch. You have until April to complete the TOEFL exam requirements for your pharmacy degree and boy we got it's almost February right now. We got a couple of months. You're going to come in from Egypt, right? You're going to fly over here. You're going to take the TOEFL exam. You're going to get your required subtotal scores and move on with your life. That's exactly what you're going to do. How about that? So you need 26, 24 on the speaking and writing, around 21 to 22 on the reading and the listening sections, right? So you can do this. Okay, so let's, let's start with the independent speaking rubrics here. I got them right here. I'm going to listen to your practice test and let's see how you did on the first one. So I'm grading right now a full set of your speaking, number one, two, three, and four also eat unhealthy diet that's why people now have um, less physical activity and also eat unhealthy diet that's why I disagree with the statement okay. first people now have sedentary lifestyles and they are uh, doing less physical activity than before for example I use my car to commute even for short trips while my grandparents were walking more than uh, we do today Second of all, now people eat more uh, unhealthy diets. For instance, I depend on uh, unhealthy diets uh, rich in uh, fats and sugars and sugar while my grandparents were eating more fruit, vegetables and lean meat. Kay. That's why I disagree with this statement. Yes, not perfect, right? Uh, a few minor problems with your delivery but I think this is what you can do. If you do this, I feel good about this. I'm going to put you at about 25 to 27 points on this. I think it's a strong speaking task with a clear delivery, good control of both your basic and advanced vocabulary and grammar, and then nicely organized and developed response. So that's what you need to do. Good and this is uh, TPO 46. This is Integrated Speaking Task 2, Reading, Listening, Campus Related. See how you did. According to an announcement in the campus newspaper, the university will ban putting up any posters on the uh, student's uh, center uh, building uh, in order to improve the appearance of the campus. And also the university will allow students to put um, posters on the board in the dining hall. However, the woman disagrees with this proposal by explaining that the building is poor and these posters, which is colorful, give... The posters which are colorful, not is. So posters is plural, the verb and the adjective clause should be ...kind plural. of ornamentation to the building, and it gives a character and a personality to the building. Also, she believes that many students uh, don't eat in the uh, dining center while they are, could eat in the snack bar or off campus or sometimes they bring f uh, food from their homes and eat outside. So students will not be able to uh, see this announcement. That's why the woman disagrees with this proposal. According to okay, so I, I think on this one, let me take a look at the rubrics. I think it's close. I think the delivery, you had one language use problem, subject verb agreement within the verb and the adjective clause. That was not a huge problem. I think you had a few stumbles and stutters, so that's a problem with pacing. Overall, your topic development was pretty good. I think this is slightly a little bit lower than the last one. I'm going to put 24 to 26 points on your second practice test here in this full set. All right, let's take a look at uh, your next one. We're getting into uh, integrated. This is uh, speaking task number three. So reading, listening, speaking, academic. All right, buddy, let's see if you can pull it off on this Reading one. passage explains an academic concept called warning coloration. And the professor in the lecture gives an example to further illustrate the idea. Okay. Warning coloration, according to the passage, if the a distinctive color that signals the presence of a certain defensive mechanism. The professor gives an example of skunk 
which uh, has a black color uh, body and a white stripe on it. It's easily to be seen and recognized by predators, but it has glands which produce some uh, certain of liquid and it can spray that liquid on a predator. For example, if a wolf is attacking, the skunk will spray the unpleasant repulsive liquid on the, uh, on the predator, so the predator will leave the skunk alone. So uh, anytime a wolf sees that black-white striped animal, he will leave the skunk uh, alone and he will f uh, go far away. Reading passage explains that. Okay, so it's hard to look at this one. I, I think it was you had a few stumbles and stutters in there. You had a little bit of trouble kind of re-explaining the information to some degree, right? I'm going to put you at 23 to 25 points on this one. So some minor delivery and some minor uh, language use issues. All right, so this is number four. This is the fourth practice test in this set. So, so far, you're pretty close to 26. Uh, the task number one, I gave you 25 to 27. Task two, 24 to 26. Uh, three, I gave you 23 to 25, so a little bit lower, slightly. All right, let's listen to the final practice test in this set. Sure. The professor gives, in the lecture, the professor gives two explanations for why people could remember some things better than others and then okay. gives examples to further illustrate the idea. In the first explanation, the professor said that people could recall things that they have previous knowledge or understanding of it. And the, she gives an example of attending a classical music concert. People will recall details if they have a previous knowledge about classical music. In the second explanation, the professor illustrates that people will recall things that are unusual or different. For example, if people are attending a class with a big number of students, they will later recall students who were uh, different or unusual, such as being tall or uh, intelligent. That's how the professor illustrates this. In the lecture, the professor gives... It's, uh, how they illustrate this what? This uh, idea of selective memory or what? You didn't really give it a name. The concept Two explanations the for why people could remember some things better than others and then gives it... So how about, sounds like selective memory, maybe. S how people can remember s some things better than others. Uh, I think overall this is a, a pretty good response. You had that one long pause in there. You were probably distracted or you were thinking of something. Uh, I'm going to put you on this one at about 24 to 26 points on it. So looking at these four, uh, Yeah, I, I think that your score here is around 25. That's what I think you are. I, I, if you average them out, it's probably about 25. So I think the main thing out of these four practice tests, what, what I think you can work on the most is delivery. So you need to speak naturally, quickly, fluidly, vary your tone like you are, uh, just don't have a lot of unnecessary pauses and hesitations. That's what you want to do in order to control you're speaking a little bit better right for more information if you go over to my website you can learn more about pacing by studying pronunciation lessons 41 through 44 it's called thought groups and blending and you can learn a lot more about that area all right thank you Bilal and youtubers what's going on guys what did you think of this right do you want feedback do you want to do uh, speaking practice you want somebody who can give you feedback on your delivery your language use and topic development well I am that person I can help you all right go over to better to learn more and everybody at YouTube like the video subscribe to my YouTube channel and then post this video in your social media realm somewhere maybe at Facebook if you want thank you